Okay, next group of four questions here on the U substitution homework. We have the cosine of something ugly, so we're going to make U equal to 3x plus 2, and the derivative will be 3dx. We have the dx, we don't have the 3, so 3 on the inside, 1 third on the outside, giving us 1 third times the antiderivative of the cosine of u du, nice cosine u we like because that's a basic antiderivative. Antiderivative of cosine is sine, so we have one third sine of u plus c, and that becomes one third the sine of 3x plus 2 plus c. With number 6, we see secant tangent. Secant tangent has a nice antiderivative. The problem is the 4x, so we make u equal to 4x, which means that du is 4dx. Um, we have the dx, we don't have the 4, so we put that on the inside and the 1 quarter on the outside, giving us 1 quarter times the antiderivative of secant u tangent u du. All right, secant tangents, antiderivative is secant, so we have 1 quarter times the secant of u plus c. u is 4x, so we have 1 quarter times the secant of 4x plus c. And again, if we derive this, we'll end up with secant 4x tangent 4x. Okay, now we have the sine of x squared. So the sine of x squared, that's not good. We want u to be equal to that x squared, which means that du is 2x dx. Well, we have 4x dx. We only want 2x dx. We have to multiply basically by a half. We want half of 4, um, which means that we need uh, a 2 on the outside to counterbalance the one-half that we need on the inside, and this one-half times that 4 gives us the 2x dx. That's one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is that we can pull the 4 out. If we pull the 4 out, then we need a 2 in, so we could write a 2 on the inside giving us our 2x dx because the 4 is out, but if we write a 2 on the inside, we need a 1 half on the outside, so we have half of 4, which once again gives us our 2. One way or another, you want to end up with a 2 on the outside of your integral. All right, so we have 2 times the antiderivative, uh, 4x times dx times a half is 2x dx, that's our du, and then before that we have the sine of u. So sine u du, now we can do our antiderivative. The antiderivative of sine is negative cosine, so our 2 moves down, we want negative cosine, just to make sure that our math looks correct, and put the negative in front of the 2. That gives us negative 2 cosine u plus c, and again, we just need to sub back in, so negative 2 cosine of x squared plus c. We know this is good because if we derive this, we get that. All right, now, natural log of x to the 7th. Something to the 7th power, that something is probably our u. And sure enough, it is. If u is the natural log of x, then du will be the derivative which is 1 over x dx, and what a coincidence, we have 1 over x dx. So this simplifies or substitutes into u to the 7th du, which anti-derives to u to the 8th over 8 plus c, which subs back in as the natural log of x to the 8th power over 8 plus c.